I'm uh, the executive chairman of Pierce Mayfield. Uh, I'm Richard Rose and uh, I am a member of Pierce Mayfield, uh, a consultant trainer. My role in the ISO 9001 project was as the project executive. I owned the business case. My role both in the project and subsequent to the project is internal auditor. ISO 9001-2008 is basically a set of uh, sensible topics or areas of the business which any organisation should uh, look at uh, making more effective and more efficient so that they can run their operations effectively. Uh, areas such as sales, uh, procurement, uh, resourcing and control of records and documents. In our case, we felt it had to stand on its own merit. And we looked for uh, additional value, additional discipline that it might bring the company. And uh, that's the basis on which we established our business case. Not to get the badge, but to see if in and of itself ISO 9001 would do as good. We didn't start from scratch. Uh, having had a quality management system which has been audited by the APM group uh, for a number of years, we already had some process and some procedure in place. However, one thing that the project did, uh, it highlighted three areas. One where we thought we had procedure and process, but we were a little lacking. Another area where we had the procedure, but it was in people's heads, not documented, and therefore others couldn't follow it if, uh, if necessary. And the third area where we did have process, we did have procedure, it was documented, and it was well understood. And the critical aspect was to get the gap analysis right. What we didn't want to do was put the standard over Pierce Mayfield. We wanted to put Pierce Mayfield over the standard. We're already beginning to see um, reduction in waste, less hesitancy, less confusion. We can put our hands on the right and the latest document. We've got more confidence that when uh, an associate trainer, for example, uh, goes out into the field, that they've got the correct configuration of material. Same with our licensees. So when it comes to ISO 9001, I was always keen to see early benefit realisation of that sort and we, we did see that happen.